I think there's a lot of people that might not know uh, that the uh, that this ecosystem there are a multi there are multiple different types of vegetations that that actually grow, and for each one of them, there's a specialized method to really remove it to get rid of it. Um, now, no matter if you're spraying or using a mechanical method or even dredging more than likely you're not going to remove 100%. Um, right. However, removing a portion of it, or the majority of it, you know, it gives you a, a, a long window before it starts to come back before you need to, feed, before you need to think of a, a maintenance spraying plan or a maintenance, you know, a muck right. removal plan. Yeah, because the hydrilla out here used to be really, really bad. I remember that growing up as a kid. And, um, but, and out there in the Indian and Banana River, we used to have schools and schools of black mullet come through. We very seldom I even see any mullet out there. I mean, any significant schools of mullet and stuff because of what's happened out there. I mean, it, uh, I'm not saying what the fix is to fix all the Indian River and Banana River, but <laughs> you know, there's probably some stuff that needs to be done. Absolutely. And, uh, Absolutely. But with all of our drainage systems going into it, it's dang sure not helping out our, our, our rivers and stuff. And nice. all this spraying has got to go somewhere. That's true. Now, now, rather it be cattails with you know what Lake Washington has quite a bit of, or uh, sea lettuce, which is actually a um, which is a floating vegetation, or water hyacinths, or water hyacinths, or um, uh, oh, oh, I forget the um, uh, watermill. Uh, there's there's a ton of different duckweed, milfoil, yeah, yeah milfoil, duckweed. There, there's a ton of different uh, different types of vegetations. There's some that just float. There's some that actually grows and they're submerged. They stay under the water. They, they root into the soil and they stay under the water. Um, and then there are things, you know, they, they root into the, uh, the seabed and then they grow above the water like cattails and, right. and uh, lily pads. There's, there are different methods to remove all of these overgrown you know, types yeah. of vegetation. So there, it's, not, it's not a one type solution for everything, but I think that we have the ability to customize a solution to, to clean up whatever the issues may be. Yeah.